Hi everybody, Jacob Breed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're going to be going over the 2023 microeconomics exam. This is set one, question number two. In order to do well on this question, you should be through unit six. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. Let's get into it. So this question starts off with two production possibilities curves. One is for Northland and the other one is for Southland. First, we are asked which country has the comparative advantage in the production of wheat and we have to explain using numbers. Since these are production possibilities curves, these numbers are outputs. And when it comes to calculating the opportunity cost, which is what we need to figure out comparative advantage, we are going to use the other over formula. That means the opportunity cost of A is going to be the numbers we have for the other one, B divided by A. So let's calculate those opportunity costs. First with Northland, the opportunity cost of producing one unit of wheat will be the numbers we have for cloth, 300, divided by the numbers we have for wheat. That is three units of cloth lost for every bushel of wheat Northland makes. And for Southland, the opportunity cost of one bushel of wheat is 50, the numbers we have for cloth, divided by 100, the numbers we have for wheat. That equals one half yard of cloth for every bushel of wheat Southland produces. So Southland has the lower opportunity cost because one half is less than three. So just say what we just found out, explaining using numbers. Southland, because they can produce wheat at a lower opportunity cost than Northland. One half a yard of cloth is less than three yards of cloth. And if you have all that, you get your first point. For part B, we're going to identify a specific number of yards of cloth that can be traded for 10 bushels of wheat. And it has to be mutually beneficial to both Northland and Southland. Now remember, mutually beneficial terms of trade will fall between the two countries' opportunity costs. And the opportunity cost for one bushel of wheat was one half a yard of cloth for Southland and three yards of cloth for Northland. But here we aren't looking for just one bushel of wheat, we're looking for 10 bushels of wheat. So we have to multiply those opportunity costs by 10 to find a mutually beneficial terms of trade. That tells us any number between five and 30 work. My answer here is 10 yards of cloth, but any number between five and 30 will be just fine and get you that point. For part C, we are told that Southland's maximum possible production of wheat changes from 100 bushels to 75 bushels. Assuming there are no other changes, we are asked if Southland has a comparative advantage in the production of cloth, and we have to once again explain using numbers. We're once again going to use the other over formula to calculate the opportunity costs here and find out who has the lower opportunity costs in the production of cloth. So Northland, the opportunity cost is 100 divided by 300, which is one third a bushel of wheat lost for every yard of cloth produced. For Southland, we're changing the numbers here. It's not 100 units. The opportunity cost of one yard of cloth is the numbers we have for wheat. It's 75 now, not 100, divided by the numbers we have for cloth, which is 50. That means the opportunity cost is one and a half bushels of wheat. So that leads us to our answer. No, because Southland produces cloth at a higher opportunity cost. That's one and a half bushels is greater than one third of a bushel. And if you have an answer something like that with numbers, you get your next point. For part D, we are told that turnips are produced in a competitive market in Alderia. This country does not engage in international trade and runoff from turnips pollutes the rivers and harms the residents of Alderia. For part D, I, we are asked if the market equilibrium for turnips is allocatively efficient. And we have to explain using marginal analysis. Remember, marginal analysis means we have to compare marginal benefits and marginal costs. This is a negative externality in production here, so it might be helpful to look at that graph. We can see that QO is the allocatively efficient outcome, and QE is what we get at equilibrium. Since the marginal social cost is greater than the marginal private cost, we are going to overproduce this product. And at the market equilibrium, the marginal social cost is greater than the marginal social benefit. This creates deadweight loss in the market. That leads us to our answer here, no. Because the negative externality in production means the marginal social cost is greater than the marginal private cost, at the market quantity, the marginal social benefit is less than the marginal social cost. That means the market is overproducing and there is deadweight loss. When it comes to externalities questions, make sure you fully identify which type of externality we're facing. In this case, it's a negative externality in production. That's why I underlined it there. And if you have an answer something like that, you get your next point. For part DII, we are told that in an effort to reduce pollution, Alderia's government imposes a lump sum tax on turnip production. We are asked if that will impact the market equilibrium price and quantity in the short run. Now we have to remember that lump sum taxes and subsidies are going to shift only the average total cost curve whereas per unit taxes and subsidies shift the marginal cost curve 
and average total cost curve. And it's the shift of the marginal cost curve that will actually change the quantity. That means there will be no change in the price and quantity of turnips. And if you state that, you get your last point. And there you have it. Those are the answers to the 2023 microeconomics exam, question number two from set one. If you still need more help, head over to reviewecon.com and pick up that total review booklet. That's it for now. I'll see y'all next time.